seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay. I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays. Way back a year ago. I've changed for the better this time. Hello guys here, welcome back again to the channel. It's your boy Sunny Media. So guys, this is the part two of the video you watched the other time, showing you the difference between Nigerian soup and stew. This is the soup. So right now guys, I'm showing you the difference between the soup and the stew for Nigerians. So right now I'm making Nigerian stew so that you will see our Nigerian stew. And you know, you have already watched the video the time I made Nigerian soup. If you have not watched the video guys, you can go to my videos and watch the video. I also linked the video in the description box below so that you can just watch the video, guys. Right now, guys, I'm making Nigerian stew for you to see uh, how our stew is to be. So, our soup is not stew, we have soup and we have stew. <laughs> just like our just that our soup, we used to put thickener to make it to be thick. You get right now, guys, watch from the beginning to the end for uh, on how I'm making Nigerian stew. If you are watching on TikTok, go to my youtube uh, channel to watch the complete video because after 10 minutes on tiktok the video will stop and we'll continue on youtube at sunny media the same name sunny media everywhere guys thank you guys and let's get into the video guys so i'm blending the tatashi and the onions and the garlic and the ginger together so like so plugging the you know swish and on it yes so i'm blending the whole thing together the onions and the garlic and the ginger and the tatashi tatashi is that long thing that looks like pepper but it's not pepper it makes the tomato to be more red you get to me red so i'm blending them together so I'm, i'll be adding it i i have tomatoes my bought small tomatoes like this one now yes because i have another tomatoes the thin one fresh tomato too but it's in thin you get you know <laughs> so i'll be blending this uh, together uh, yes after blending the tatashi and the um, pe um, pepper you know so i'm adding the tomatoes so i'm blending the whole thing together including the pepper the tatashi the tomatoes so this one now this is tomato now this fresh tomato the same as fresh tomatoes but you know they've packaged it inside a tin in case if you don't want to use the other fresh tomato you can easily use this one you get they've blended it already inside this thing and put it inside it's the same as fresh tomatoes you get and toast in, in ghana they call it in toast so this is fresh in toast you get they have blended it already see you see it there's no difference between the fresh one you bought you used to buy in the market so i'll be using them together then i'll first of all pour this one inside the pot so uh, after pouring inside the pot then i'll add this one i've blended already inside it then i put it on the fire then i keep cooking i will not add oil at this point so i will keep cooking it cook and cook cook cook, cook until the tomato get done so here is a fish i'm washing the fish i've already washed the meat so i'll, I'll be washing the fish and add it inside the meat i'll be cooking them together yes so the fish the meat and putting this uh, i've Putting the seasoning, I've put pepper and ginger already inside. So I'm putting the maggi and season it together, you know, turn it. So I, I'll be cooking the meat, you get, so along with the fish. So I'll cook them together. So I'm adding other seasonings. This is um, thyme. So it makes the meat to have some kind of scent. So I'm putting the thyme, I'm also putting the seasoning. So these are the seasoning we are using to cook meats. This one is for meat seasonings. So I'm adding the salt, enough salt. Yes, so I'm putting the salt. So after the salt, then uh, is there any other thing I'm going to put inside this meat? Uh, water, okay, yes. So water, after the water, then I'm going to boil, like cook this meat until it get done because i'll be adding the meat inside the soup 
you get so this is the meat you get this is the meat i'll be using to cook this stew so i'm boiling the meat now you see it so i'm boiling the meat so the meat is on fire do i check the tomato you see the tomato is boiling so i'll cook this tomato until it get done so i'm while doing that i'm cutting the carrots and the green pepper so it is it this is the result after cutting the green pepper and the uh, 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 carrots so i'll be adding them together i see the tomato you see it has done yes you see you see the point at this point now i think i can add oil inside now you see how it looks so this is how you cook your tomato if you want to get the best result you cook the tomato first cook it cook it cook it cook it for some minutes you get until it dries the water the excess water then right now i'm going to add the um um this thing oh yeah <laughs> vegetable oil so i'm adding the vegetable oil inside then and continue frying he gets so i'll fry and fry and fry it you see it's frying also after cooking the tomatoes then i'll add the oil to fry it more then i will make sure that the tomatoes is well fried so after then i add the seasonings for stew this is the um, some of the seasoning for stew you get so after adding those seasonings then is there any other thing i'll add then i'll turn it after turning it you see how the, it, it looks see the result you see the, the stew is getting to is stewing <laughs> Oh my goodness, the stew is chewing, guys. So, after then, I'll add the meat. You see, the meat have boiled the meat and the fish. You see, it's ready now to enter into the stew. Then, I'll add them, I'll pour it inside the stew. You see it? So, I'm pouring it inside the stew. You see the result, guys. This is our stew. This is the stew for rice. If in case you are not seeing the difference between our stew and soup, so the other video is the soup. I made the soup. So now I'm making stew. So this is stew. This is what we call stew in Nigeria. You see how it looks yummy. So yummy. Hi, you need to come here and see the aroma coming out from this pot from this place oh my god everywhere even the neighborhood that has started you know shouting who is cooking this who is cooking it i want to eat i want to eat <laughs> oh my god so guys i'm adding the carrots the chopped carrots and the uh, green pepper inside you see so this carrot and green pepper make the stew so yummy more yummy oh my god more yummy 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 in fact if you eat it uh, if you eat the stew i cook like this they cook like this oh my god you forget your you forget that you married it <laughs> but you see our stew you see how yummy it is oh my god you are invited you are invited you guys you see it oh my god let's open oh wow, wow, wow. guys look at it the best result the best stew ever if you want me to cook this kind of stew for you call me dm me immediately comment in the comment section let me come to your house anywhere 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 i'll come and cook this too for you yes and also uh, soup <laughs> so guys hope you saw everything so this is how we cook a nigerian soup and a nigerian stew hope you're able to see the stew the difference between the stew and the soup we make our soup more thicker we put thickener inside the soup that's that is the reason why you usually see nigerian soup uh, uh, ca coming out thick okay so and this is our um, stew tomato stew you get so guys um this i'm uh, i'm boiling the rice yes so if you want to know how to how i prepare the air bar let me know in the comment section so i can do the video how to make a bar so guys how did you see the whole thing uh, do you like the video if you like this video give it a like button if you're not subscribed yet subscribe to the channel turn on the notification bell so anytime i post a video you get notified guys also share this video don't forget to share also give your comments in the comment section 
See you guys in the next video. Bye for now. I love you.